Welcome back to Court Farm for episode 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's 3.27, we're back at Court Farm with our adult apple juice, which I'm going to put away in store and we will, until it becomes a classic vintage, no, we'll, we'll, we might try some. I'm stopping at the store. I've just had a phone call from Court Farm. And they would like my assistance because they are swapping out their trailer for something larger. One of the reasons being, um, they've got all those manure pellets we've been working on, the diversification at Court Farm. There are loads that they need to get selling. I have also, after my trip out to Diddley Squat Farm, our conversations with Caleb and Jeremy and you know the fact that our apples will now be taken um, for Hawkstone Cider, which is amazing. I've got one tray load of apples to deliver and then from then on all the apples we're producing are selling so they are going to be selling directly we're going to be getting rid of them so the money will go up as they sell which is absolutely amazing but yes trailer um, we have had some changes here lighting is slightly different it's, yeah. it's all looking good uh, I need to be on their account which are switch accounts for the time being. So the half pipe HP20. Oh, that's not a bad price. 29,000, six months old. Okay. Let's get rid of that. I'll just move that around the front. Oh, we are going to be whizzing back. Um, not in this episode, but we are going to sort of bounce backwards and forwards, I think. Um, because we're working for KCC, uh, I think the situation now is that if we get jobs for Caleb Cooper contracting, it could be here at the additional farm that we're setting up or we are have been setting up to help out court farm um but could also be at diddly squat could be at clarkson's could be uh, yeah, anywhere around the area so we could bounce backwards and forwards so I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to the uh, the uh, the concept of it all so a trailer then i think there's a marshall one available which you might look at um what else was there so the Marshall QM14. And we've got these, the Ultimas. I quite like the look of these, actually. I'm just thinking size-wise. I do quite like the look of that. How much is it? 31 grand. That's not a bad price, actually. I think I will suggest them getting that. They've got a bit more room to move around at Court Farm than we have down at Stonebridge. That's why I went for the Flegel, because it's shorter. We've got a little bit more manoeuvrings. Uh, ability, but I think that's what we're going to go for. I'll have a fiddle around colours and all the rest of it, and then we'll get that down to the farm. I've got apples to deliver, manure to deliver, and then we're probably going to go into February 2 or f well, yeah, whatever we're on at the now. I think I've got my entrance into the cell point here wrong every single time. Let's get the front loader up. That's better. Oh, not bad. And how are they looking out here? Oh, yeah, we've got some. We've got some bird boxes and dog kennels. It was because, what was the other thing they could do? We needed wool, didn't we? It was for the cat scratching the stands, wasn't it? But we didn't have any wool because we, we're not allowed to have sheep. But these are here. So the stuff we supplied them with, they converted their lumber. That's... Is it all in? Yeah, must have all gone in. Excellent, right. So back to the farm. Uh, court farm we need to bring over here. Um, a load of manure pellets they don't, like I said, they don't pay out a huge amount of manure pellets but by doing the manure pellet production using slurry and using the manure using the separator it's another product you can sell it will make you some money more than if you just sold the manure or the slurry on its own that being said, it depends because there are some different sell points there are some different options available there's the slurry um cell center uh, is it missy b one 
that I've used before and that pays out the original version of that was on FS19 wasn't it I think I did it on Attingham Park uh, when I was running the BGA and I, you, could, I, you could make a fortune an absolute fortune so yeah if I sold the slurry directly to one of those you can so it depends how you're going about it and this was just more a case of looking at options you know trying out different things is it always about making as much money as possible a lot of the time you want to make as much money as you can but for me I like I, I'm trying more I say I like to I'm trying more to try different things I think that's the thing like I can keep saying it's very easy to get set in your ways it's very easy to fall back on the stuff you use a lot and all the time because you like it because it works you know again I've said this so many times before and sometimes yes you might try something that doesn't make you as much money but you're trying a different process you're trying something different it might be the process you're actually trying you end up losing money on the whole situation you know when you work out the finances and, and that's no different to anything in farming isn't it your outlay of everything you do on your field fuel for your tractor you know farmers are even now when i when i did my tractor driving experience that was a long time ago now rob the tra the driver uh, the tra the driver the farmer said when they were for plowing they have to seriously weigh up whether a field really really needs to be plowed now because he said especially if the weather's not been great if the soil's heavy um if it's been raining or you know he said the fuel cost to run the tractor to pull that plow over the ground and fuel's gone up massively since then it's a it's a cost implication you've got a way up is the benefit of what we're doing is it worth the expense in the first place will we gain that money back and that's i suppose it's no different to anything isn't it it's, it's sensible economics right see in a bit we'll get some of this uh delivered i don't know if it's the playground or not get that done maybe I want to get at least one load delivered and then I might deliver the rest off camera between February 1 and February 2 don't have to bounce ahead to February 3 maybe I'm trying to think really okay we're back let's see I say, it's not going to be mega money, but it is money. I do have that weird thing happening, though. Right. I went way too wide. Trouble is, I can't see the pipe. Oh, there we go, over there. Can we get underneath that? Does that seem about right? I don't look outside and see where we're at. Please tell me I haven't bought the only trailer on the planet that doesn't do separated manure, uh, not uh, manure pellets. Oh, it could be the cover. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Didn't have the cover open. Schoolboy error. And I could see it as well from there. 23,200 litres of manure pellets. Now put the cover back on. There we go. Oh, actually, to be fair, it's because it was shining. It looked like it was open. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. So the other thing as well is the playground equipment we bought the logs didn't we how long ago was that now the logs were all bought um we were going to put it here weren't we i think yeah that is the plan improving the area so after we leave we have made a difference A positive difference. I've always said that. Every Let's Play I've ever done. Do we leave it better than we found it? That's all you have to do. 
it doesn't have to be massive change sometimes it is sometimes it isn't sometimes you've made millions sometimes you haven't made much money but you've made friends cheesy isn't it but it's true making bonds acquaintances helping other people how are you feeling as a percentage people again it's been a while I reckon I'm probably at 85, 90 today. I'm feeling good. There's a lot of great stuff on the horizon. Really looking forward to it. <clears throat> if you didn't watch the um, the video I put up about Lama, about the Lama announcement, if you're living in the UK or you want to travel to the UK, Lama 2024 is January the 17th and 18th. And it is the, the big farm machinery show in the UK. For the first time ever, Giants are bringing the Farming Simulator League and Farming Simulator to Lama. So in conjunction with Lama, Farming Simulator coming to Lama, they are leaving the uh, main continent of Europe. They're coming across the English Channel where they're coming to England. They're going to be on our turf. Um, DJ Goham and Farmer Cop, after conversations we had at FarmCon last year, said about doing a community meet and greet, a community meet up for fans, friends, subscribers to meet us. There'll be a whole load of different YouTubers there, um, but if you want to, there'll be a link in the description. You need a ticket for Lama, which is free. You have to register for a ticket for Lama, use the link in the description. That will take you to our webpage that's been set up by Yoss, the modder Yoss. Um, and what will happen or what you need to do follow that link then there's information on there you need to register for your ticket for Lama make sure you come into Lama first then you can put your information down regarding whether or not you're going to come to the community, community meet and greet Giants are sponsoring it they're helping out with it um, it will be held at the Giants booth every time I was just about to say yeah and then caught them off guard. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so um, the Giants are hosting. It's going to be held at the, the, the Farming Simulator stand stall on the Wednesday night of the, the, the 17th. I think that's the right date. How much did they make off that load? That's all right do that a few times that's a nice bit of extra income I like it uh, so yeah there'll be well DJ Goham and Farmer Cop are coming from the US it was their idea they started to organize it and, and it kind of snowballed from there Yoss made the website farm sim guy has been doing some design work so farm sim guy will be there Virtual Farmer is commentating on FSL. He'll be there. I'll be there. Uh, Mrs. Silly P's coming along with me. Um, there's going to be Disturbed Simulations. There's going to be The Average Viking. There's going to be Twin Cam Gaming. Who else? I'm trying to think of the list. I don't want to forget anybody. Um, Rumour has it. Scroft may be coming. Whether he'll come to the meet and greet, I'm not sure. But he's, I think he's going to be at Lama. There's going to be some other modders. Not sure who, but Lancey Boy's name has been dropped as well as potentially attending Lama, so he may be around. Including all of the in real life farmers, farming simulator YouTubers that, um, not farming simulator, sorry, real life YouTubers that usually attend, people like Caleb Cooper. Um, so often the Pembertons are there. Uh, Ollie Blogs, Ollie Harrison often goes. Uh, Joe Seals, maybe. So, like I say, it, it, yeah. The link's in the description. If you, if you want to come, if you want to meet up, if you want to say hello, um, have a chat, you know, that's the situation. Farming Simulator Community Meetup, first one we've ever done. I'm really, I'm buzzing. I'm, I, I'm really, really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be fantastic. I will drive through the hedge on the way back out. There we go. I'm on the wrong side of the road again, but... So, I've got some more of this to do. I will probably see you in February 2 for our next challenge.
because we have a job we need to do. Stay tuned. It's February 2, it's 1.48 in the afternoon. We have been busy, we've been working, it's been snowing up until now. It's been quite overcast, it's been not as dark as it has been previously, but it's been snowing the whole time, so we couldn't do very much. Um, but we have been working on the playground equipment up at Court Farm. Uh, the apple juice is stored away, that's been done. That's tucked away in there. We're gonna head up now. I'm gonna show you Court Farm. We have got a job. Um, a, I suppose a contract technically we've been asked by the local council to do some work for them um, this is an interesting one again I was talking earlier about trying different things so rather than scaling up we're scaling down a little bit it's a curious one and it's working on the local allotments anyway, this is another one of those things um, are, are allotments a thing everywhere like in the world? I mean, I, I don't know. I know in the UK it's a huge thing. I've got quite a lot of allotments not far from where I live. I know my best my best friend Steve, um, they had an allotment for a long time. And when we were younger, when the kids were younger, there was something we looked at doing um, about getting an allotment. So we thought it'd be fantastic to take the kids out. We can grow our own fruit and vegetables and that kind of stuff. Getting an allotment plot was almost impossible. It was the waiting lists were so long, and if somebody gave up their allotment, and it literally came down to if a person passed away, you, know, you, you just couldn't get an allotment for love nor money. Um, and the list was it was so long, it would be like a decade before you'd get an allotment. Um, anyway, yeah, look, this is nice, isn't it? I'm really happy with how this has turned out. We've got a little bit of fencing around the outside, we've got some picnic benches, we've got a little, uh, little sandbox for the kids to play in. Got some benches around so you can just sit and you know have a have a cup of tea, have a cup of coffee, have a have a picnic if you want to, while the kids have a bit of fun. It's also nice, you know, to have the campsite if you're here with your kids, or if you come to Court Farm for the day to have a look around the country park. Um, yeah, there's some play equipment for the kids. So that was what the lumber was for. We did the benches. We did a lot of a lot of this is woodwork. There are some metal bits here and some plastic bits that we had to buy in. Um, but the sandbox and the benches and everything. Plain, sanded, these are a bit more rustic, but uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Happy with how that turned out. So, we're heading up to the store, because what we've done, although our money has gone up at, at um, KCC, it's gone up because we've been selling our apples directly, but we have leased some stuff, which I'm gonna go and hopefully pick up right now. So I'll see you at the store. Let's head to the allotments. The entrance to the allotment is just along here. I've been doing a little bit of reading. <laughs> Excuse me. I've been doing a little bit of reading. Um, and apparently it, it's all over the place, all around the world. The term allotment is more a UK thing. Um, community gardens are what they're referred to in a lot of places, Canada and the United States. Often a community garden will be, in the UK they're more individual plots. They're not designed for commercial use, commercial gain. It's for people to, to grow crops for their own use. Crops, vegetables, fruits, that kind of stuff. Let's get out this way. Um, but in the US and Canada they do have plots which are individual but most of the time they're community gardens which are run by a group of people, a collective will run a larger garden. It's not always the case. Um, they're often referred to victory gardens as well, something to do with World War II, which is it's fascinating. But um, they sprung up, I mean I'm looking at the UK stuff actually I was reading about. There's a, an old engraving showing Birmingham um, and the, it shows the, the town encircled by allotments and that's from 1732 um, and some of them still exist today apparently. There's a place called Great Summerford Free Gardens in Wiltshire um, where the local um, reverend, he was chaplain to the king and he asked King George III if they could have some spare land um, and it was part something to do with an, something called an enclosure act which would benefit the poor in his parish and those sort of things then expanded and continued and it kind of grew from there grew from there pardon the pun um 
obviously during the war they dig for victory stuff and all that kind of stuff allotments and people's gardens and wherever you could grow stuff people would grow stuff um, and it's still a very big thing so yeah and I, I was looking down the list of places you know it's Turkey Sweden Poland Portugal Russia the Philippines Norway the Netherlands France Finland Germany Denmark Canada Czechoslovakia or Czech Republic Austria I, I had no idea I mean, it's one of those things you kind of get used to seeing things in your country and if you travel abroad the first thing you, you're you're not looking for allotments you don't travel to another country go oh, I wonder if they've got allotments here it's one of those weird things anyway we have leased these because we're doing some small allotment work we've got this uh, lizard 4100 we've got a little um it's kind of rotary cedar really i mean planter uh, we've got a small roller and we've got this tiny plough. Now the plough is only a 1.4 metre, it's going to take a while. I could have gone a little bit bigger I suppose thinking about it. Um, what we're going to do, I've got ploughing to do first, I'm just thinking actually. I just thought having a massive tractor over on the allotments, well, wrong way, um, seems a little bit overkill and would probably cause more compaction than good. And a lot of the times allotments, they're it's all done by hand. People don't generally have small tractors and stuff. But we've been asked to get onto the, the, the allotment, uh, do some ploughing, plough up all the plots, make sure they're all good to go because of previous compaction stuff. It just needs a bit of a, a bit of a sprucing up. And then we're going to plant some different crops. I think we're going to do linseed, we're going to do beans. So I thought, you know what, let's... Yeah, let's try this. There were the, um, I can't remember the, what the ones were. It was a pack. I did have a look. Um, they were a bit more expensive than these, actually. The ones that were like, um, you held the handles. It was like a two-wheel set of mini tools and equipment. I did look at those, and I thought, no, we'll go for a small tractor, and we'll have a go. I mean, this is somewhere between a ride-on lawnmower and a, and a mini tractor, really the compact tractor sort of generation I think we're just this turn in here we have only got a right indicator to be fair though because <laughs> we've got a light on the other side that's what might be fun assuming of course we can yeah they're fairly small plots will it allow me to though that's the question I don't know it will Lights, yeah. So I don't know what it's going to do with the bits and bobs in the middle. That's why I just thought we'd come on and let's have a go. Why not? So, this obviously, I purchased all the periphery of the map thanks to the various different people that helped me out with that. But obviously, if you've done the update on here now, this can all be purchased anyway. So, you can now purchase all these outside bits including the allotments if you wanted to that's why i thought i'd include it now i don't know if i plow this will it get rid of these or will these stay no they'll stay okay so i'll, I'll go around the edges of those well, we are bringing stones up there aren't we i think we'll leave the stones that's all right What to do about the uh, little spade there? So I'm assuming that's going to stay as well. But we have got a few allotments here with various different things growing, but I thought we'd do a few and we'll put some crops in. Why not? And this is one of those times where it doesn't matter. You don't mind the, the equipment you're using. It's tiny. It really doesn't matter. So I'm pretty sure these will stay as well, but we'll we double check. Yeah, we'll just work around them.
I've got to stick to one plot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like I'll go on to the next one, move on to the next one. I just this little setup here is amazing. I love it. And there's nothing to stop you on any map setting up your own little set of allotments. There are plenty of modded garden sheds and all the various different decorative objects. So setting up a little set of allotments or a community garden. There are lots of small greenhouses. I suppose that's something we could do as well. We could put a little greenhouse. Because we've got plenty of greenhouse mods, little polytunnel ones and all sorts. That might be quite nice in here. I'll have a look and see if we've got any little polytunnels. We could put some polytunnels in as well. And this is what I said about making it better. Leaving the place better than you found it. Actually, this tractor's not... Because not, I was thinking, oh, I suppose, you know, that we haven't really got hand tools per se that we could use. And there are a few different small, very small bits of equipment. And I was concerned this might be a little bit too big, but actually, I think it's spot on. Right. Fertilising, we can do... Um, we have got the spreader at Court Farm. We could probably do the whole lot in one go. Uh, liming, I guess we could do the same thing with that. But like I said, we have got the cedar and I've got a small roller, so we can do that as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to carry on and get all the ploughing done. At least it's all done then. making me smile I haven't finished ploughing everything. I'm in my little massy. I'm bringing up some lime. As I've just seen, I've just picked some up. There was a little bit left at Court Farm. Um, I'm going to get some fertiliser and put it in the back of this as well. I've got a problem and I had to use the Land Rover because the roller that we got wouldn't hook up to our little mini tractor. I'm not quite sure why. So the question now is, because of the weight of this, I think even this being a small broadcast spreader that's going to be too big to go on this so I'm thinking what we're going to have to do I've, I haven't ploughed all of them I've done a few and the end two fields I haven't done yet so what we're going to do is lime first then we'll fertilize and then I'm going to we'll get the cedar rolling nothing's <laughs> there are broadcast cedars as well there's the was it TR 500 I said do it every single time I can't something like that isn't it um, but I thought, yeah, let's just, um, I can't remember how far this spreads out, actually, for the line. We'll probably better do it nice and quickly. I was, I was trying to avoid using a larger tractor on here, but I just think that tank's going to be way too big on the back of that mini tractor. So let's get the line on. Pretty much covering the whole field. That's pretty safe field. <laughs> not, I suppose, yeah. The, the plot. Let's just go with the, the little plot in through the hedge. Uh, we'll go sort of down the next one. Let's say they're they're a little bit higgledy piggledy here and there. Actually, we'll start from this end. This one's got some planks on it. We can't put stuff across the whole thing, but we can do some.
Whoa, how did I manage to jump out then? Actually, what I probably should have done... Uh, there we go. We've got a precision farming, haven't we? And this has already got... Um, we've already got the... What's it called? The field info. I'm not quite sure how that's happened. We're going to have to get some more lime. Thought we'd have enough. Apparently not. What have I driven into? Garden chair? Yep. This is proper small plot stuff, isn't it? Actually, we covered more of the field than I thought we would, in all honesty. Isn't it difficult to not keep saying field? <laughs> We're out. So, do I go and buy another 5,000 litre thing of lime? I'm going to need the lime, aren't we, I suppose? Or do I refer to... Oh, no, I've missed some over there as well. I'm going to have to get some more lime. Oh, let me go and get the liming done. I'll go and get some more lime from the store. And then we'll whiz down... We do have still fertiliser down at... Um, Stonebridge, it's a bit of a drive back, considering right next to the store, I think what I'll do is, um, and what I can, I can, I'll get some from the store, I'll use what I need, then I can unload it here, then we can, we can just leave some lime and fertiliser up here at the allotments, can't we? That would make sense. So farm supply pack, that's what I'm using, we'll go down and grab that, then we'll get the uh, sewing done, and then we'll get the rolling done. And then I'll, I'll do those last two allotments at some point. It does mean we're going to use a, a little Massey again. Well, although, bizarrely, it's not a, a little Massey compared to some tractors. Um, there are much smaller Masseys, there are much smaller tractors, but probably should have got something like that. But this is what I've got, this is what I'll use. I even think one of the, the smaller, like a, a 35 or a 65, or, you know, the, the little, you know, the little tractors. I think they'd even be quite big for an allotment, wouldn't they? So if you're going to be too big for the allotment, you might as well go really too big for the allotment. I'm just thinking of small tractors. Yeah, along the lines of these, the little Crabat. That might have worked, actually. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, it could have done, couldn't it? A little Porsche. Or the little Zator. That one I love. I think that's just an, like that. But that. I love that. Just a fantastic bit. But then I'm a big fan of old old tractors, so I would, wouldn't I? Right. I'll see you when we're ready to put the... Is that seed? Oh, yeah, that's seed. <laughs> right. Lime and fertiliser. Let's go.
Well, this has been a 100% allotment fail. <laughs> I just realised when I was halfway through, I, honestly, it's because I'm bouncing between here and Alma. And on here, we've got um, seasons on and precision farming. And on Alma, we haven't got seasons on. I limed, and then I made a mistake. I went to fill up with lime, and instead of filling up with lime, I filled up with fertilizer by mistake. So I came out, and I put my fertilizer down, forgetting that when I'm precision farming, you've got to put the crop in the ground first, then fertilize, because it doesn't know how much nitrogen it needs until you've got your crop in the ground, which is brilliant. So I thought, right, Linseed, rye, filled bean, we can get those put in the ground, can't we? Of course we can't put them in the ground. Because we're not in the planting window for any of them, are we? So basically, this episode... Well, it's been lovely, and don't get me wrong, I've enjoyed the small equipment, I've enjoyed the little plough, I've got this... The problem is now to keep hold of all this right the way through. It's going to cost a lot of money, so I'm going to have to re-lease it. Because if we go into our window and we look at our planting... <laughs> Ah, oh dear. If we look, because we're at February on the right-hand side, the only thing we can plant is cotton, which I'm not doing. Um, we can't put this in the ground till March. Well, actually, to be fair, we've only a little bit to go, just another part of the month, another third of the month, and then we can plant these. So I'm thinking... Do I skip ahead? I just want to get these in the ground now. I, I, want, to, I want to show me planting them. So I think we might have to skip ahead until March 1. And let's get these in the ground. At least that way the allotment... It won't be a full allotment fail. <laughs> it won't be far off, but it won't be a full allotment fail. <sighs> I mean, these aren't expensive to lease, none of these. So it's not going to be a huge amount of money it's going to cost me. Right. See you in March. We're heading back. <laughs> this allotment meant a lot only because because like i said about not being able to get an allotment when the kids were younger so to do this is that kind of kind of that, that kind of kind of that thing of we've got an allotment we can do it so it meant a lot anyway let's hook that up because even you think well that's a land rover though you're going to do the rolling with the land rover i am which is actually smaller than the Massey. <laughs> so it kind of works. Anyway, let's get on with this. This should work now because we are in the planting window for linseed rye and field bean. Get in. <laughs> let's get some of these put down. Uh, the other thing to check as well, if we go on to here, our fields, uh, so they're the Court Farm fields. And here are our fields down here. Everything's growing, everything's doing what it should be. I've had no more contracts pop up yet. Um, I was hoping we'd start on the cycle of bailing contracts again. I do keep checking now because I'm absolutely paranoid of, um, <laughs> of having switched off growth and put it on paused by mistake or something. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's all still growing. Everything is as it should be. So let's hop on, let's attach that. We're on linseed. Let's go. It should now say, well, it shouldn't say anything. It should just allow me to plant. So we should just drop it down because, as I said, it's mechanical. So it shouldn't require anything else. There we go. We're going to need to refill a few times, probably, but. I'm going to do this first one, linseed. Now, I have ploughed around all the bits that are already here, but I'm going to plant around them, not over them, because I don't think... I don't know. I mean, maybe we could remove them with the landscaping tool or something, but I'm not going to. We'll leave them still there, because that's kind of part and parcel of what it's supposed to look like. We're a bit bouncy. So we get this in. Like I say, I'll do this one, linseed. I'll do the field above um, rye, and then we'll do the next one to us here filled bean and then we'll, we'll just rotate through so each one I and mean, i could just do the first two as as a linseed and the next two as but I, I, it doesn't matter however you want to go about it. that's just how i've decided to do it 
We're not going to use a huge amount of seed, but I've got plenty here if we need it. As I said, what, whatever you decide, whatever you choose with regard to small tractors and seeders and broadcast seeders, and there are so many to choose from. I just wanted to try something different I hadn't done before. All moving around there, look. That spade is in the way. So what we'll do is we'll try and come down the side of it. We're pretty much already there. Just thinking, I shouldn't really, I shouldn't really roll with the Land Rover, should I? But I'm not quite sure why it won't hook up to this. It has got a hitch on it. It just doesn't seem to like it. So that's that. In. Pretty much. switch over and we'll do right it's not much space on this one but we'll do it and the thing about allotments like I said these are not supposed to be for um, commercial gain they're not there's not supposed to be a commercial enterprise so when you have allotments I'm pretty sure it's part because you rent an allotment I don't think you ever own them in the UK unless you've got your own land and you can do whatever you like I suppose but um, there was a couple actually that did get they did get in trouble, didn't they, with the was it the police? Um, I think it was during all the COVID stuff, all the lockdown stuff, and they had allotment in their garden. They were growing stuff in their garden, and they weren't even selling it. They were taking it around to their friends and neighbours, fruit and vegetables and stuff. And I'm sure they got in trouble because they claimed it was a commercial enterprise. They weren't making any money from it. It's, you know, it's that typical thing, isn't it? Anyway, yeah. So you're not going to get a huge amount from this, but if you were just going to set this up and you know grow a little bit of rye or grow a little bit of wheat, I mean if you can, whatever it is you, you grow, you might just decide to do it as an experiment, have a go at grinding it manually and then see if you can make some bread with the flour, you know, it's that scale, it's not supposed to be, you know, whoa, whoa what happened there, I must have hit the control, um, yeah, it's not supposed to be a big money spinner, that's not the point. So I want to get at least one field of each in, and then I'll roll. I love the fact I'm sort of sitting forward. You're almost leant forward, willing it, you know, that kind of, I want it to go faster, move faster, go, 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 and you're kind of leaning, leaning into it. Oh, I missed that bit that side. Make sure I do that. Oh, is it going over the top of this? Because when I ploughed, it didn't do anything. Maybe it is. Because that's not in the ground. I'll, I'll try it. Let's give it a go. It is. Okay. It's that interesting. But I thought ploughing would have got rid of it, but it's actually the seeding that's getting rid of it. Oh well, okay. I'll go with the other thing as well then, we'll give that a go. Whoa, that's bringing up some monsters. What's happened there? They're huge, they're not stones, they're boulders.
can do it over this as well. It will. Okay. I'll be able to do it on the other one as well, though, I suppose. But that is. I mean, this isn't a cultivator, so I'm not quite sure where these massive rocks are coming from. How weird. Right, so I need to switch back then. Let's go back to our linseed. Let's see if we can do over this bit. And then we'll do this field. Actually, no, we'll do that field down there. Field bean, and then I'll we'll continue. I need to get the rolling done. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, I'll see you when we're doing the field bean, and then we'll get the rolling done. And I'll, like I say, I'll do the rest. We'll get the rest done off camera. I got the rest of... Oh, that's a point, actually. I've still got the plough sitting there. That little plough. I've got the other two end fields ploughed. Oh, but it will slip. You know what, I'm thinking while I'm doing this, I might put some um, carrots or beetroot into these. It'd be the perfect size fields for doing something like that, wouldn't it? Again, fields, you know, little, I'd do a couple of little plots of fruit crops. I'm going to need a planter though for doing those. Now mind you, we'll have to, they're expensive, aren't they? And they're big. Uh, let's see, yeah, because we haven't really got any modded ones of those yet, have we? That's peculiar. I thought... I could have sworn I had them on here. I was just looking to the side there at the cauliflowers. Right, I'm going to have to do a bit of looking into that. Why haven't we got the root crops on here? That's weird. But let's do the rolling. Um, I hope this is the correct roller and it's not going to do something awful. Like I say, a bit unorthodox using the Land Rover, but just please tell me this is not a grass roller or something. Oh, so this is curious as well because yeah, it does say needs rolling. So we are now saying, oh okay, so it's alright, the fact I did put my fertiliser down before I put the crop in the ground, it's showing as nitrogen perfect, so pH and nitrogen, I haven't put anything in that one yet, but they are all, they all, all saying nitrogen perfect, so it hasn't done, it hasn't done any harm, that's the main thing, and now that bit's, yeah, should be alright, let's double check on here. Go and have a look here. So they're in the ground. Let's have a look at our 
soil composition. Whoa! Yeah, knees rolling. We're just doing that strip there. We've got a lot of stones in there, haven't we? I think what I'm probably going to do, let's go up and down each one. We've got to go across. I can't raise the roller anyway, so I might as well just roll straight across. And I'm definitely going to get, we'll put some root crops in it. Just a small amount, but then they're saying that they're small plots, but we'll still get a fair amount off them because the yield of root crops is high. So, and we could do potatoes, I guess, as well, couldn't we? If we wanted to. It does seem to be putting the stones all back in the ground. I want to go over some of these large ones and see if it'll put some of the large ones into the ground. Let's see if we go around that side of the tree. I don't think it will. I think it's only the, large, the small ones it does. Yeah, it's putting the small ones in the ground, but not the large ones. Okay, that's all right. Anyway, maybe the next episode we might start with that, or I might do a little bit off off camera and just record it. We'll put those in. Like I said, I'm not quite sure why they're not on here. I thought I had them already sorted. That's a bit weird. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I say, something just something a little bit different. Um, if you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. As always, thanks for watching.